Introducing The Intuitive Hour, Awaken Your Inner Voice, with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify the powers of your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Hello, I'm Michelle Beltran. You're listening to The Intuitive Hour, Awaken Your Inner Voice, where we convene each Monday and you learn all about a plethora of topics around metaphysical health and wellness and spirituality. But most important, you learn how to develop your own psychic and intuitive mind. Welcome. I'm honored that you're here. All right, let's begin this week's episode. We're discussing dowsing. An interesting topic for sure. This is at the request of Shannon P., who wanted to know about dowsing, what it is, how we use it, and how to get started. All right, so dowsing is used for much more than just finding water. It's another form of remote viewing, another way to put your ESP skills to practical use. With dowsing, an individual knows what the item is, but not its location. Dowsing, like most forms of psychic techniques, makes use of the unlimited capacity of our subconscious mind. In last week's episode, we talked at length about the subconscious mind. It is the subconscious mind we learned that connects us to the universe, the place where information from the universe can be easily accessed. Dowsing is one of those information paths the universe uses and connected to the subconscious. Okay, so let's talk first about the process or the steps to begin dowsing. First and foremost, you'll typically want to make an important decision about something or locate a missing object if you are dowsing. So you'll want to set up a dowsing station to do this, a place where you can be that is comfortable and where you're interrupted, rather uninterrupted. So my station consists of a art desk. Sometimes this is called a drafting table or a craft station. I have this in the, in my office near a window and I have an architectural sort of lamp that clamps to the side of the table providing me with lots of light. It's an uninterrupted quiet space that I know I can go to if I have a question that I'd like to douse or use the pendulum for. You'll want to be sure to make your own sacred dowsing station where you can sit in a similar facet, uninterrupted, that's quiet, well lit, and a surface that is balanced and clean of clutter and so forth. So now then, the actual technique of dowsing for a missing object or information works very much like the pictures of dowsing you may be familiar with. Instead of using a double-handed stick, often called an L-rod or Y-rod, which is used to locate water, we'll use a swinging pendulum. So, the first step in using the pendulum is to make sure that you're holding it correctly. The pendulum is held typically very lightly in one hand, while the other hand will make constant contact with a sheet of paper in which you'll be receiving information and then writing it down. 
All right, so let's just walk that through a little bit more specifically. Go ahead and put your elbow on the table. If you're right-handed, I want you to use your right-handed, your right hand. If you're left-handed, please use your left hand. We want your most steady hand, your dominant hand, as you douse with the pendulum. Your pendulum should have some kind of small device or bead on the string of the pendulum. You want to shorten that to about two to three inches from the pendulum. And this is where you'll hold the string from. You'll want to use your thumb and index finger to hold the string. Do keep in mind there is no hard and fast rule. Hold the string in a place that feels most comfortable to you. Typically, the best space, though, is about two to three inches from the pendulum. The shorter the string is, the faster the pendulum will move. All right, so you'll want to next clear your pendulum. That is typically done by some kind of brief prayer, clearing the energy of it. You might say, shield me. I am clearing my pendulum now. You might say, I invite the divine Holy Spirit to come forward. Whatever feels right to you, just a brief sentence or two requesting a clearing requesting that you are guided by love and light. Again, anything that feels right to you, but some kind of intention statement to bring in right answer and clarity. All right, we've learned about setting up your dowsing station. You've learned how to clear your pendulum and you've learned how to hold it correctly. Now, we need to talk about communicating with your pendulum and how to receive a yes or a no signal. I wanna ask you to go ahead and put your elbow on the table in front of you, sitting comfortably, and then swing the pendulum away from your body and back again, forward and back. As you're doing this, say out loud, this is now my yes symbol for this pendulum. Nod your head, yes, and say yes out loud. You have now established a yes signal for this pendulum. If you were to get a new pendulum, you would want to do this over again, and you would also want to clear it again. So we're setting up communication for this pendulum now that you're using. All right, to set a no signal, just as simple. Put your elbow on the table, sitting relaxed and comfortably, and then though swing your pendulum gently from left to right and say out loud, this is now my no signal for this pendulum. As you do this, shake your head in a no fashion. And again, say no out loud. All right, so now that you've learned to recognize yes and no signals in your pendulum, I want to share a very interesting technique that you can use the pendulum for. You can use this pendulum to change energy. This is unique in that we're not asking a question to receive an answer. Rather, we're making a command. You absolutely can use the pendulum in this way. And here's how that very simple process works. Go ahead and begin this process by putting your elbow on the table in front of you. State the very clear sentence of, 
I am clearing any low vibration energy that no longer serves me from my space now. As you are in this command kind of mode, you will see that the pendulum begins moving. It may move in a circular direction, right or left. It may swing back or forth. It may move in a counterclockwise direction. All of these are just fine. It does not matter what the pendulum is doing. It matters that it just begins moving and is allowed to do so. The longer and stronger the swing or the circular motion, the more that energy is moving and clearing. It is your indication that your request is taking place. Your command is taking place. Once the pendulum stops, the energy has shifted. It's that simple. This is a technique that can be used daily to clear out your energy. It's somewhat like a brief meditation space. Use it as often as you like, and you'll find that it assists you in clearing that slow, lethargic energy out quite quickly and very sufficiently. All right, so a few more thoughts as we begin to uh, complete the episode today. Uh, my teacher, Dr. Paul H. Smith, a f remote viewer formerly assigned to the military Stargate program and also president of the International Remote Viewing Association, has remarked that dowsing takes advantage of the subtle micro-movements of our muscles. And Dr. Smith further states that, that it's these very subtle physical movements that are directed by our subconscious and which are used to direct us to an answer. Regardless of how you choose to pursue the practice of dowsing, it's so very important to allow your mind to be opened and let the universe direct you to the answer. Don't search for it. Don't try to find it. Just let that naturally and organically and through your subconscious come forward. Like all decision-making strategies, dowsing works to give us pertinent information for making us strength based decision, the ability to avoid negative results and to locate important objects. All right, everyone, thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour. If you're inspired to take your intuitive development to the next step, be sure to enroll in Michelle's newly released Kickstart Your Intuition eCourse at michellebeltran.com.